Hello, good people. Hello, hello, hello. Before I begin, um, if you haven't subscribed, and uh, before you go, take a walk downstairs and check in the description box. There's some information down there. Commentary without any type of action is, at the end of the day, useless to me. So. Take a look down in the description box for small opportunities for you to engage in small acts of activism. All right. Then uh, next week, I don't know what day that is. Monday. Monday. You know, my live stream is Monday at 10 p.m. Every Monday, 10 p.m. I just do the one live stream. So the subject is going to be the downfall of the black church. The downfall of the black church. That's going to be the discussion. And we're going to go take it global. We're going to look how what the black church is doing here in the United States and the downfall of the black church in Africa. What it's doing, what's going on there. So that will be a good discussion. So that's Monday, 10 p.m. Central Time. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so here's a, a what will, how would I call it, a misconception. There's a misconception that we have. And the misconception is um, that certain, in, within the black community, that certain classes are more likely to be raccoonish than others. All right. More raccoonish than others. You know how I'm using that word raccoonish. I'm going to I'm just basically saying that's a nice way. I'm just trying to avoid being censored. Or oh, raccoonish. All right. So the belief is if you're from you're in kind of a higher social economic class in the black community, you're more you have a more of a tendency to have these raccoonish tendencies, right? All right, you're closer to the power structure, so you're more uh, allied to the power structure, right? You maybe you're directly employed by the power structure, so you have more have these 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 tendencies. All right, that's what I'm going to call it from now on for the rest of the video. Tendencies. All right, and to a certain extent. That can be very true. Okay, the closer you are to the power structure, the more resources you're getting from the power structure. Okay, then of course you may feel more aligned and in alliance with that power structure to the detriment of the rest of the community, right? So that seems reasonable to assume. All right, but that is not to say that someone who is maybe on a lower economic position that they don't have those also those tendencies. So a young woman who's 30 years old, who works for, say, a law firm, and she's making six figures, she may have those tendencies. And a guy who works at the corner store may or selling uh, loose cigarettes may also have those same tendencies, right? You can't just assume that because I'm there, I'm here in the corner store or he's selling cigarette that, OK, I'm I'm more likely to stick up for the black community. It, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. OK, the woman who's working, making six figures. Can be for the black community. The man. On the corner selling Lucy's can be for the black community. Or vice versa, they both can be they both can have those tendencies, right? Those raccoonish tendencies. So I've seen online that there's various, you know, YouTubers who they have those tendencies and they cater to people who have those tendencies. So Nyla and Taz, they cater to black women who have those tendencies. They, they hate black men. They don't like the black community at all. Okay. Okay. Is 
they dislike black men intensely. They dislike the black community. They don't like it. And the, the weird thing about that, they don't like black men. They don't like the black community. But they also hate black men who are trying to do the right thing. And it's for the community. So the, the, their argument is, OK, black men not doing nothing. They don't they don't care about the black community. But then every other video that they do, they're attacking the men that they're saying, the men that they're claiming the rest of the black men are not. Did I explain that? If you're saying that black men are terrible and you're saying that the black community is is terrible. But then you see a few black men trying to do the right thing and trying to do something to help the black community. You also hate them. Why is that? Because you have those tendencies, those tendencies. All right. All right. So they they don't target the upscale women who have those same hate black men, dislike the black community. They don't target them. They don't can't target those upscale black women. They target kind of the, 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 the women that are not so upscale because they're not upscale. And, you know, class in the black community is classism is is pretty strong believe it or not. So they have crafted out this 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 fellowship of black women from lower economic positions that don't like black men and don't like the black community. Okay. And don't like the black community. Now there's this controversy going along that okay, they have been feeding off of and exploiting this group of women that they have gathered. Okay. Taking money, not giving out the products. Uh, in fact, there's now allegations that a lot of the money over the years that this group of women, these are poor black women who don't like black men and don't like the black community, that most a lot of the money allegedly has been spent to, to, to use crack, that Taz has been using the money for crack, okay. allegedly. So now we have all this information about them being scammed, being grifted, all of that. That this this fellowship that they have built over the years of poor black women who hate black men and don't like the black community, that they have been exploited by these people. All right. Not only that, some of the YouTubers who have YouTubers who have collaborated with them in the past have been doing exposés like almost every day, you know, attacking them, saying, OK, these people, uh, they don't care about the women in their, you know, their fan base. They just use them as a meal ticket. They they've been exploiting them. They sell stuff. And when you send your money, they don't even try to send the, the product and they know who they're targeting. OK, they're targeting women who maybe not won't have the resources to sue them, et cetera. OK. So so that's what's going on with with, with Nyla and, and Toss. They're on the heavy fire by some of their former YouTuber by some former YouTubers who have collaborated with them, and that's important. And so, I was back and forth. Like I've been thinking for maybe a few days, how do I feel about that? Do I feel sorry about these women who's been pretty much fed off of, or been been exploited for these years by these two, this 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 tag team of evil? You know, I hear they're married. I hear Nyla is married to Toss. This is a little tag team of evil that they do. I feel sorry for the victims. And you go back, you think, okay, they're poor, they're poor black women, okay, poor sisters. But then you kind of realize Toss and Nyla has been doing propaganda for years. It's very blatant. They they don't they don't they don't try to be truthful. Okay, I just watched a a uh, three hours that I won't ever get back. It's like three hours. Taz did a attack on Marcus Garvey, and what he what he said was, and this was in his title, pretty much that Marcus Garvey is like the black version of Charles Ponzi. Now Charles Ponzi is the white guy about generations ago who the name Ponzi scheme is taken after. Charles Ponzi, all right, Mr. Ponzi. So he did this live stream 
And for half of the live stream, he's introducing all this, this, all these historical documents about Mr. Ponzi where the word Ponzi scheme was taken from, okay? They, the Ponzi scheme is taken after this man, Charles Ponzi. I believe his first name is Charles Ponzi. So he's, there's all this evidence, all these news, old newspaper articles, and he's showing it in the live stream, and he's talking about how corrupt Ponzi was, all right? But remember, he's trying to say that Marcus Garvey was also the same way. So after going through over an hour of all this kind of these receipts, these old newspaper articles about his what he was doing, how he was arrested, etc., then he gets to the Marcus Garvey part. Now he's been showing all this evidence, all these documents for Mr. Ponzi, right? Now he needs to bring up evidence about the Honorable Marcus Garvey. What did he bring up? Something, some crap he typed up and threw on the screen. And that screen was up while he talked and bashed Marcus Garvey for an hour or so. So you have all this evidence about this white guy who the father of the Ponzi scheme and you trying to smear Marcus Garvey that he was also running this type of scam. You, pr you produce no evidence at all. And the historical evidence, all sources was the government was afraid of his power. And so they railroaded him. There's no evidence that he was trying to run any type of scheme. All right. But you wanted to bash Marcus Garvey. He wanted to bash Marcus Garvey. And so that's what he did. So now, am I to believe that although you're a poor black woman, you can't notice that he produced receipts for. Mr. Ponzi, but produced no receipts, no historical evidence for Marcus Garvey? You mean you, you can't notice that all that evidence he produced for the one guy, the white guy, but then when he wanted to smear Marcus Garvey, he had no evidence to present. He just typed up some garbage and put it up on the screen. No one is that dumb. And so my final, I guess, decision is I don't feel sorry for these these women. Yes, they are poor black women who have been exploited by these two. OK, and allegedly all the money that they've been sending these two have been used for substances. OK, that they don't they don't even own an apartment. They don't even they're not even renting an apartment that they don't even have a lease, much less a house that they're kind of just bouncing around like. <laughs> Uh, I actually saw a video from uh, Baba Ransom. He di he discussed this and he called them Bonnie and Clyde. You know how Bonnie and Clyde they just was kind of moving around, committing these 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 crimes. That's what he called them, and that's the evidence allegedly that that's all they they've been just kind of this these two rootless couple who built this audience of poor black women who have those tendencies. Okay. All right. Because the upper scale black women who have the tendencies, they can go to like a Candace Owens. Right. OK, this is for this particular social economic group. This is what they're doing. Do I feel sorry for them? No, I've decided that I don't. You've allowed you've been enjoying the propaganda that, you know, is propaganda. You know, their lies. You've been supporting lies because you don't like black men. So you enjoy the bashing of black men. You enjoy the bashing of the black community. OK, so now you have to enjoy the realization that you've been exploited. That's 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 my video. Don't forget to go downstairs and look at in the description box. I'll talk to you guys later, probably tomorrow. Take care.